These are all my favourite, some of my favourite songs sung by some of the most iconic, legendary artists of, you know, of our lifetimes. So tell me now, is it so? Don't let me be the last you know. My hands are shaking. Well, it was something that I was asked to do, to be honest, but I thought it was a you know, good idea and I thought that it would be a challenge. And also there's, you know, there's a lot of hits and iconic classic versions of those songs. So you have to tread pretty carefully. Um, at the same time, people want to hear songs that they know. And so it's about getting a balance and um, finding maybe half the songs that uh, were classic hits and half of them that were maybe less known. If you see me walking down the street and I start to cry I was intimidated by all of them, but obviously it was a nice challenge because they're, they're beautiful songs to sing, um, but they sound much easier than they actually are to sing. They sound, you know, deceptively simple. That's part of the beauty of them as well. I mean, even when I listen back to the album, you know, now we finished it, I think, oh, why did that just sound so simple? That just sounds so, like, easy and, oh my God, you know, no one's going to believe. That was hard. <laughs> the look of love is in your eyes. The songs like Look of Love and Close to You, they were all one takes. Sometimes you get a bit of magic in the studio. While I was playing the piano, I'm in, you know, I'm in the right mood, the light, lighting's in the right spot, and you just catch something and you think, no, that was a really beautiful moment. Let's, let's keep that. And then others you labour over and do five, six sessions on to try and get it, to try and get it right. Words could ever say And what my heart has heard Will it takes my breath away We spent about six months in pre-production going through the catalogue. Um, it was mainly my husband and I who was the producer. Just sitting, you know, I'm doing the dishes, he's playing the piano, and we're just working out how to approach something. Some songs fell by the wayside that, you know, didn't really work out or that just didn't feel, feel right. So yeah, I just kind of naturally whittled down to those, it was 16 songs in the end that we decided to do. Most of the work was really done. In the pre-production stage, it was myself and Rob. We were just, you know, coming up with ideas and we had time to, to really muse on it and think about it. We were, you know, sitting, working out, okay, how are we gonna approach this? Like, for example, what the world needs now had this sort of swing that seemed to sort of, it, it was, it contrasted sharply to the subject matter, which I thought was quite intense. What the world needs 
a prayer you know Lord we don't need another mountain Lord it's like a little child sitting by its bed praying to God I mean it's really it's really sincere and so we did work quite hard to try and get away from that swing Rob has the powers, the magical powers, to create these these amazing musical landscapes. You know, not not just the power, but also the the respect for not only the work but the writers, because he has had personal relationships with all of these people. That's really the most important part of the process: is to get the approach right. Um, you know, we're looking at the overall the listening palette of the record. So we wanted to, you know, if we're going to do a Bacharach album, we wanted to really represent that scope of work and not, not miss anything out, even then, and have the element of fun. The, the, the serious matters um, that were also, you know, important to, especially Hal David, you can really feel like, you know, really his heart in, in, in a lot of the music. A chair is still a chair even when there's no one sitting there but One thing I really wanted to do with this record was I really wanted to honour House because the more when we were in pre-production I was listening to, you know, dozens of songs I really started to just love him so much I really loved him I was, just, I was like, oh my god I love this guy, you know, I love his soul. He's beautiful and I love just how sensitive he was and how, how kind and gentle he was. And I just really wanted to honour him and honour his spirit and his heart. So I was delighted when, when Bert wrote us a note and he said that one thing he really liked about the record was that Hal's lyrics shined through. So I was really touched about that because that, was, that meant a huge amount to me. I met Bert for the first time in 2010 um, at his home in California and um, I've met him several times since. I did the Palladium recently um, and we performed Close to You and Balance of Nature with the orchestra there so that was pretty amazing. He suggested um, a couple of songs when he heard that we were doing it. He sent three songs, two of which we did. One was Land of Make Believe, and the other one was The Last One to Be Loved. But those two he, he really wanted us to cut. But I know he really likes Balance of Nature. You know, he really, he really likes what we've done with that. And of course we were honored as well with Burt Bacharach coming in and playing piano intro on one of the tracks as well that you know that he not only played on it but he has he really really genuinely likes it he thinks he really likes what we've done I hope I can do them justice and I hope that people appreciate you know what we've done and you know I know that I've done my best and that's all you can do and we've really worked hard on it and we, we, we respect and revere the catalogue so much and we hope that people who are also fans of the catalogue will, will, will hear that in the way we've approached it. <laughs>